it's unlike most other fish out there. Good things to kind of just get you excited about what I have going on. Whoa! What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping and I appreciate you stopping by. If you happen to see my last video, son, if you happen to see my last video, then you know I went a little over the top with the editing. I kind of pushed the, uh, the boundaries a little bit and I had a lot of fun with it. Here's a short clip. The main event of tonight's fight is coming to you from the Tiny Fish Division and will be three rounds of what promises to be shell crushing action. Well, after doing something so big, I decided that for today's video, we're just gonna do something kind of short, something sweet, just simple. Uh, the plan for today is we're gonna actually road trip to a fish store that is a number of miles away. We're going, I've never been there, and uh, I have no idea what kind of fish stock they have, but uh, it's 104 degrees out. Oh, it's very hot in here, so. Let's drive. All right, so after that drive and uh, a little singing, we are down in Lincoln, Nebraska, and we are at the fish store. This is a place that I've never been. I've heard good things. Um, I know they have kind of an outdoor section, so uh, we'll go in, we'll check it out, and I'm hoping that they have something uh, unique, kind of unusual, maybe a predator, but uh, I don't know. So uh, let's go in and uh, we'll check out this, uh, this store. It might be safe because it's that water, but it's in So just kind of walking through the store here, um, it's uh, actually been super busy, which is kind of cool to see just a little local fish store in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, just swarmed with people. So I've been uh, just kind of walking around, getting a feel of it, but you can see a lot of tanks. So a lot of really neat fish, um, a lot of variety, uh, some really common fish that you see that are actually supersized. And then uh, one of the first ones I want to show you is one of the most personable flower horns that I've ever seen. This is a super cool fish. Um, let me show you. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest fish you will ever see. It's a fish that just honestly doesn't even make sense to me but uh, super cool. It's called a glass catfish. So one cool thing about uh, this place that uh, I actually haven't seen in many fish stores before is they actually have a little outdoor kind of dedicated pond section with a lot of goldfish, uh, some koi, but then they have something pretty unique that uh, is in this tub right back here. Take a look. So if you guys can tell, there's a bunch of little tadpoles and uh, tadpoles that have almost become bullfrogs down in here. You can see some like that guy right there already got the legs. Shut those off for you. Oh, thanks, man. They just rest on your hand. They got the little tails, so. Yeah. Huh. They, just, they don't want to leave your hands, so they just. Yeah, it's funny, it doesn't want to leave. I want to get it down here to the. It's got a lot of koi right now, I'm surprised. Yeah. I could probably do something with this. Yeah. If I didn't already have two variations of this fish, that is an African marbled lungfish. 
So it's the same thing as the uh, giant one that I have at home, but obviously this one is a uh, marbled versus just a uh, stone gray. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Look at the size of these clawed frogs. I mean, that's my hand. And he's obviously way back there in the tank, but he would easily, I mean, fill the palm of my hand, that big gray one there. He's big. Pike cats are cool though, I'll admit. Regardless of how savage they are. I know. I was just watching the one video, the dragon puffer fish eats the mini lobsters. Oh, that was yeah. funny, the green screen stuff. That's funny. Manage. No, slip by. Whoa. Alright, so I wanted to get driving, I wanted to get on the road, uh, since it is about an hour uh, back to my house, um, and I obviously bought fish, I showed you him netting those fish. One of the fish did come out of the, the tank and took a, a decent fall, uh, so all the more reason that I wanted to just kind of get moving, uh, otherwise I would have stayed and kind of talked to you at the... So what I was trying to say before my camera rudely interrupted me and uh, shut off was uh, the pike head crocodile fish is a very rare, unusual fish that I have never before seen for sale in the uh, local fish stores. Uh, I was super happy to see these guys. They had this really, really unique feature and I wanted to kind of give you a basic little uh, fact sheet on these guys, call it, uh, while I was working my way home. So let me go ahead and give you the fact sheet. I'll show you these guys in the tank and then we're going to feed them and you'll get to see that really uh, unique feature that uh, you just don't see in other fish. So uh, here comes a fact sheet. So the pike head crocodile fish, that was kind of just the basic overview on these guys. As you can see, I do have both of them in the tank. The one that came out of the tank, his fins are a little nipped up, but they are doing, or he is doing great. Um, super awesome fish, definitely a, a realistic sized monster fish for someone that wants to get into like the aggressive predator fish, but doesn't have like the space for just a massive tank. The fish room is going through some massive changes right now and I am going to give you an update on that here at the end of the video. So right now these pike head crocodile fish are in this kind of temporary holding 55 gallon until uh, the, their tank can be set up downstairs. But um, I mentioned they have this really unique feature and it's the way that they eat. It's their beak, it's their jaw. It's unlike most other fish out there and uh, we're going to drop a couple little minnows in here and see if uh, these guys are hungry and we can get them to eat. Let's go.
So did you see that unique feature that I was talking about? It's the beak. Well, it looks like a pike. Well, it looks like a gar. The mouth actually protrudes out rather than like where a gar, you know, would be like that. The mouth actually extends out and snatches up the prey. Uh, you got a better look of it when that one was kind of reworking the minnow and then taking it back in. But uh, so this fish is super unique in that sense and it's really cool. So that wasn't the most action packed feeding. We will probably need to get some smaller fish because uh, these guys are still pretty young and have some uh, growing to do. Um, but with that being said, that is my uh, new pair. My doubles, my partners, my buddies, the uh, pike head crocodile fish. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to get them into a tank that's not so bare and actually suited for them. But uh, that leads me to the uh, update on the fish room. And I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes look here. Uh, so uh, stick around. Let's go downstairs. All right, so just kind of a quick update on a few things down here. Things to kind of just get you excited about what I have going on. I have uh, torn down a handful of tanks. The rack that used to hold um, six of my tanks uh, now has two. I used to have a big old workbench right here. That has been removed. And let me just stay with me here. Envision this. Racks from that corner all the way down to the end down there. Nothing but tanks. So a lot of big changes. Um, things are a mess. I'm moving things around. The hardest part about rearranging a fish room is uh, figuring out what to do with the fish when you're moving tanks. So, uh... All right, so final update for all of you before we wrap this one up. We are about to break 10,000 subscribers. We're like 300 away at the time of uh, this filming. So if you are not already, please subscribe. I have some really cool stuff coming up as kind of a celebration of 10,000 subscribers. Um, some special guests coming onto the channel here soon. Some uh, challenges and some just some fun stuff. So I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are excited for this pair of uh, pike head crocodile fish. Super unique fish, very weird. We're gonna have a lot of fun with these guys. Uh, a lot of changes coming to the fish room. So all big things, I hope you guys are excited. Thank you for watching this one. As always, I appreciate the support. And until the next video, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>